Hello there, Road Microphone fans, and welcome to part one of my little video on the Road Link Filmmaker Kit. It's wireless, it's 2.4 gigahertz, and it's superb. The stills are just the unboxing. I couldn't be bothered shooting a video of a box. The inside was exciting, but the box itself, no. <laughs> so just put up with this until we get to the video, and it's in several parts, I'm afraid. Thank you for watching, though. Hello there, and welcome to this video. It's not the unpacking off, because I've unpacked it like a kid in a sweet shop. It's the unboxing of the Roadlink Filmmaker cordless wireless microphones. They come beautifully presented. In fact, they really are lovely, <laughs> lovely. Look, TX and RX. Transmitter and receiver. And it says, welcome to the next generation in wireless audio. Oh, audio, sorry, yeah. And they came from Australia. And even inside there's some lovely photos. And the two items themselves. Whee! <laughs> right. So let's start with the transmitter. And the transmitter comes with a little polythene bag. And a screw, cross-headed screw, because you get two of these fittings and the circular fittings so you can put them on your camera, tripod and they turn around. And you even get little button covers for the screws you're not using, which are there. And there. So that must be for the other one <laughs> because this has got two in and a belt clip. And if you open up, press that button there, come down so far, and you have DB gain zero plus ten and plus twenty. And also lights for connecting it with the other one. If you come down further, you can see where the batteries go in. I use rechargeables, each to their own. It takes a screw in or a push in 3.5 or 1 8 inch for my American friends. <laughs> Uh, pin jack in there and this is your connector I'm plugging this in but obviously that isn't for the transmitter and the microphone will plug in there and I dare say it's in the other part when I get to it And here we are, part two, <laughs> and this has got the shoe already on there as you can see, but your options are you can have it in there as well. There's two openings, and again it's a little Phillips screw. So quite straightforward, and in the back of this one you have zero gain, minus 10, minus 20 and a connection for connecting so they see each other and again a couple of rechargeable batteries going in make sure they're charged up 
And then this one goes, I'll find them all in a minute, here we are, a real road mic, and it's not a cheap jack one, this is high range one, and look at the size, it's no size at all. And I've had not used one of these before. I know it's best to wear it inside your clothes, even if it means putting something over the top of it to stop it rustling. And this plugs in there and then screws in. Or not, it depends how you want to fit them. Uh, I've never lost one yet just by pushing it in. So again, it's each to their own. It comes with a clip. And it comes with a little, well you can't call it a dead cat, it's too small, so we'll call it a dead mouse. Now there's the wind muff fitted. And it's very effective, <laughs> having had this microphone, not this microphone, but this, yeah, microphone. It is a microphone, yeah, of course it is. Anyway, having had this before, then I know how effective it is. But as I mentioned, I fit it inside, up inside my jersey and fasten it on in there. Very good. And then your microphones and your transmitter, your batteries go in there. in both and then all you do is there's a big button on top and it switches them on and off so they're not difficult to find <laughs> I'll just open the back a little bit in case I have to do something with the channels I don't alter or I'm not going to alter the DB on either because I need to experiment to find out which is the best and all you do if you can see on there and there one large button. Yeah. Press it, hold it, and then let go, and it comes up and says radio mic. It's looking for this one. That's better. You have to hold it for about two seconds. And that's it. That's it. Speaking to each other on channel one. Job done. And on this one, which is your transmission one, or your receiving one, sorry, they can mute that or knock it off, but you have got control over here. And it's that little button there. And that changes the channels up and down. And the little red button in the back is for locking something, probably the channels. I don't see the point because if you run off channel, it goes and finds another one and sends the signals back and forth. 2.4 gigahertz. Brilliant. I'll do a distance test on these when the Mr. Frost has gone away <laughs> because I do know from reading about them the so you're talking about a hundred foot plus, so I need to find somewhere probably with four or five hundred feet uh, with clear vision so I can keep my eye on my camera on a tripod. <laughs> I live in a dodgy area, you know. Anyway, I'll switch these off for now. And that's it. Two road mics. Right on. Can't ask for anything better than that. That's the end of part one. Go look for part two, three, four, five, six, and seven in my list of videos. <laughs>